Hi. You know when you see used gear online for budget prices that you just can't ignore often results in you buying said gear without reason or justification? Yeah, I did that. That happened to me. And I did it quite a lot. And it's resulted in this series of videos because I've accidentally started a collection of Dan Electro Food Series pedals. So I'm making this video for two reasons. Number one, let's see if the French Toast Octave Distortion is everything it's cracked up to be. And number two, kind of need to justify my purchase to myself. But maybe we can have some fun along the way. Okay. If you've never seen the Dan Electro Food Series before, all the pedals are named after food. This one is the French Toast. It's an octave distortion, which to you and me is octave fuzz. I don't know if the word distortion was sexier in the 90s, but generally distortions, are, uh, this is a fuzz is what I'm trying to say. I haven't plugged it in yet. I'm going to turn the octave off first, octave off, and um, let's explore some French toast. Ooh. Good Lord, um, turn that off quick. Uh, that, that's a pedal. That is money well spent. I spent some money on this. It's not the cheapest of the pedals, but um, that's a good pedal. That's even without the octave. Um, you know when you know, you know? Let's, uh, let's engage the octave. No, let's put it on the neck pickup and back off the tone so we don't, uh, we don't cause too much destruction. Octave and on. I think we've started well. I think I've already justified my purchase. Video over. No, um, this, this is good. Uh, if you know me, you know my channel, then you know that I love fuzz. And I just love riffing on that low, that low stuff. This, this turn it back on, I'm getting so excited. I just love that. <laughs> There is a lot to like. That um, I've said nothing basically so far. I'm just having fun, but um, full of harmonics. My goodness, is that a full, rich, harmonious sound? Uh, I, I don't know if it does chords. Let's turn the octave off and try, try some chords. Oops. The French Toast Octave Distortion has level for volume, gain for how much distortion you want, little octave switch there, on or off, and of course EQ. Now the EQ probably should be labeled tone, so I'm guessing when we go this way it's going to get darker. Oh, the, the hiss gets darker, that's for sure. And when it goes that way it just gets hissier. Hiss. Hiss away, my friend. <laughs> EQ-wise, it seems to have two good sweet spots, and one of them is here. Which gives you this little dull, beefy tone, and then the other one is this one, which really lets those string noises come through.
The rest seems a little bit, um, what's the word? Crap. <laughs> no. Um, uh, not unusable, but I, I think there's two two tones that I like from that EQ. Let's um, let's give it some more distortion, shall we? <laughs> That's only on about eleven o'clock. Should have given you a warning, it just got really loud in here. Um, I think that needs more EQ, so maybe I'm wrong. The more distortion you have, the more EQ you need to boost it. It's fun up there, but I don't know how usable it is. You could really melt some faces off. It, it just, I really wish I'd had one of these back, back in the day. Um, through my Marshall Valve Estate and, you know, through my H&H &H combo. Um, I'm going to try some more octave stuff. I get the feeling that the octave's quite sensitive. This is getting silly. That is one of the best slash worst noises I've ever heard. Um, I don't think that's necessarily a good sound, but it is a sound. I enjoyed it. Um, let's let's max everything except the level because I'm gonna bust my amp. so spluttery, so disgusting, so so horrid and so beautiful, man. Um, so yeah, I said I had to justify my purchase. I just did it several times. Ha, stick that sensible me. Um, I'm so glad I bought this pedal because this is insanely fun. Um, I want to get something that's maybe more bluesier. I don't know, to try and try and please some of the people that are not into the noise. No, I'm a, I'm just, yeah, I'm 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 ecstatic. This this is a pedal. I thought it was on there, but it's not. That's just the amp. Oh yeah, gear that I'm using: my back Albatross with two pickups um, into uh, the Polytune Two tuner, into the French Toast Distortion, going into the Orange Rocker Fifteen Terra, into the Orange PPC Two One Two, and then mic'd up with some mics and the Captor X, and into your ears. It's quite a complicated setup, but it does me, and I hope you'll agree that it sounds phenomenal. So I'm going to try and get it more like rocky rather than thrashy. <laughs> That's just not going to cut through at all. It, it doesn't do, um, or at least I can't make it do, nice fuzz. Let's stick that up there and see what happens now. This is good. I, 
went a bit kind of Santana then, kind of like that thickness, but the pedal's not giving thickness. This thing is made, in my opinion, for that low notes, let's drop D, riffing. Baby, that, that's Doom Extreme. That is, um, that's only a drop D. So I, I'd, I'd like to put, should I put it? Yeah, let's put a drop C through it. Chapman ML3 in dropped C sharp. So we've got a little bit more low end. I'm intrigued to know what this is gonna do, so. That is instant like game music for when stuff's about to hit the fan and um, we're about to start, you know, pew pew and, and shooting things. Um, there's, there's a lot I can throw at this pedal. It doesn't do, you know, the bluesy kind of stuff. I, I didn't really expect it to. It doesn't claim to, it doesn't want to. Maybe I'm not the person for that, but um, damn, does this do what it's supposed to do. It does really, really well. Um, so happy I've managed to uh, to justify this purchase. Thank you for watching so far. <laughs> Let's try just for fun that, but with the octave on. Octave off. Octave on. So, alrighty then, killing two birds with one stone, I get to show my Yamaha SGV300 on the channel, which I haven't actually done yet. I've never played this, so. I don't know what these knobs do. All right, wonderfully weird guitar going through a wonderfully weird pedal. Doesn't sound terrible. It's nice. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be super 60s, but the distortion's got to be on super low. Let's just back the level off, maybe.
doesn't help that I don't know what any of these knobs or switches do, so I'm gonna have to investigate that in another video. But um, I think my favorite tone is with the SG. I think the the, the Albatross, sorry, from my back. Um, yeah, it, it's full, it's thick, and I'm gonna go back to that. How did I not see you? All the way, hiding back there, how did I not see you? Of course you're gonna go through the 90s pedal, because you're a 90s guitar, kind of. around the wrong way on this one. That was fun, that took me back. That took me possibly to a moment that I never thought I'd experience because way back in the 90s when I was in bands, I um, always wanted to have one of these, or not always, but frequently. And I always wanted to have more Dan Electro noise. And um, today, ladies and gentlemen, I have it. And I'm, I'm a happy boy, I'm a happy camper. I hope you've enjoyed the video because I hope you're enjoying the video because I, I I don't really know if it's just me having a whale of a time. I don't know if that's fun, but it's fun for me. So if you're after some octave fuzz in the vein, in the style of this French toast octave distortion, then I've got some recommendations for you. Up first is the most pocket friendly Joyo or rebadged Harley Benton Voodoo Octave. That's super cheap and really, really good. If you've got a bit more cash to splash, but not too much, about a hundred bucks or so, then the fur coat from Orange is a great contender if you're looking for this type of fuzz. And finally, if you are too cool for school and want something boutique-y and awesome, the Redbeard Effects Honey Budget is one of the most fun octave fuzz pedals I've ever laid my hands on. Go for that one. There are links below this video to the pedals I've just mentioned, and there's also links to the gear that I've used in this video. Bear in mind that if you do click them, some of them might be affiliate links, so I, I do get a little kickback from that, but this is not a sponsored video. I just wanted to make it for you guys, so it would be great if you supported the channel. If you want to support the channel in other ways, you can buy a t-shirt, which you can also find links for, or indeed go to my Patreon, links down below, and um, you've now made it to the end of the video club. Congratulations. To prove that you are a member of this prestigious elite, please, when leaving your comment down below, include the phrase, the quarterback is toast. Yeah, French toast, toast, you know. French toast, I recommend it. Not just the pedal, but also the bread product. And, and frankly, any toast is welcome on my breakfast platter. But while you're here, if you've enjoyed the content, click subscribe. If, if you like it so much, also give a thumbs up. But whatever you do, go and have some fun with some fuzz pedals. Maybe this one. See you later.